it is Crash Master, and as you can see, this uh, today's video is off to texture pack tour. It's gonna be a little bit different, as you can see. Um, right there, mites, it's not saying Xbox One edition, it says Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition. Now, mites, honestly, I have had I have had the PlayStation 4 edition for about a month, honestly. <laughs> Um, because I was planning on doing an extra texture pack tour on um on, on the PlayStation 4 edition because there's one exclusively for it is it probably start from the thumbnail and possibly the title but Norse mythology just had to come out <laughs> thanks to Mojang but mites we are finally here so it's practically about the same thing except for the fact that PlayStation is not in the better together update which is um now on um, Minecraft Bedrock Engine the new version of Minecraft which is just titled Minecraft as you can see if you're having this edition you can also download PlayStation 3 and Vita save worlds and I actually am planning on um, using this for um, the PlayStation 4 version for a secret project so uh shh don't tell anyone mites <laughs> um well tell your friends so that way they can be intrigued and then we can all be together on this one channel but today Mites, as you can see, we have Egyptian mythology, Norse mythology, all of the sorts, but one that's not on any other console or platform is the Little Big Planet TM World. As you can see, now Little Big Planet is a series of games that I have. Um, I, I played the first and second one on um on one of my cousin's consoles. I forgot what he had. It's a quite an old game ish. Like um, it's still relatively new. I'm not sure. I haven't played this game in a long time. But we are actually gonna go ahead and check it out. So survival, normal. Let's see. So everything. The controls are practically the same as the Xbox version. You can compare this extremely to it. Because, um, honestly, oh, okay, it looks like, um, oh wait, no, cancel. Yeah, I'll play, I'll play offline, I'm not really, um, I don't really have anybody, um, I don't really, oh. Okay, Moist, it looks like this, <laughs> looks like this is really gonna be, whoa, what am I, oh, I'm back to Steve. Alright, so, real quickly, let's see. Nope. So much as you can actually see, they do have as well the skins as you can all see right there. Every single one of the skins. But unfortunately, huh? oh wait, do they have my skin, Moitz? I think they have my skin. Please, please, please. Yeah, Moitz, they have my skin. Whoop whoop. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let me lower this. Um, let me lower my headset real quick because it is actually quite loud. Also, I think it might be quite loud for all of you as well. So. Let me... Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, might. So, <laughs> I'm sorry if that was kind of hurting your ears for that um couple of minutes. I didn't have time to adjust any of the settings or whatnot. But there we go. All right. So, that's I, I that's pretty much the settings I put on on my own Xbox One. So, hopefully, it is a little bit more <laughs> durable for all of you. But now, let's take a look. So, the hearts and the hunger bars seem to just about the same. So, oh, okay, so just like you know, I haven't played any of the games for quite a long time. I played the first and a little bit of the second, but um, other than that, I really have no memories of it. So let's see, we have the Frozen Tundra, alright, so we have Sense Sensei's Lost Castle, and we also have Boomtown, and what's in here? Actually, what's in here? Ooh, we got some apple. <laughs> this is apples? What is this? It looks like coins. Come on, this looks like some sort of... Weird green coin, this does not look like an apple. At least the cake looks like a cake on a plate. Like that rhyme. Cake on a cake on a plate. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So it has a cherry actually on it. And it's actually looks chocolate looking. So that's actually not bad. Um the lava down there, as I'm assuming that's lava. That looks <laughs> that looks very, very dangerous, so let's not go down there. Um go down there. We have stitch in mana. We have skate to victory. And we have a couple of anvils right now, look, which which really, really, really look really old. So, let's see. I guess we'll go down every single one of them. So, we have the Frozen Tundra. So, let's go down and let's see. I do... I am a bigger fan of the cold than the heat. Um, whoa, what is this? Is this, uh... Okay, mites. Um, it looks like sushi. Is this a pig of some sort? It's not making a noise when I hit it. So, I really honestly have no idea what this could be. But, um, <laughs> I have to say, I, I do love sushi, but, um, um, uh, yeah, might, so, oh, it's a sheep, okay, it's a sheep, it's a sheep. This is obviously a cow. All right, let's see, so, what's that, that, so, ooh, what does the minecart look like? Okay, it looks, it looks, um, a little bit different in chess, it looks kind of like, um, are you, I thought it was gonna be more bent. All right, so, here we go, whee! 
All right, here we go. Whoa, okay. Ooh, I like the tunnel. I love. Oh, dear my We're going into another dimension. Oh, oh. Ah, let's get I would actually think about using some sort of technique like this on a build, maybe. Who knows? All right, so I have to say I do like it since it is blue as well. Oh yeah, this is actually blue wall. It's not like some weird kind of looking um other kind of wall mites because you all know in other texture packs, <laughs> um pink wall can look like brown must go up something. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so that closes it, right? Um. Uh, no? Alright, it looks like the redstone might have changed a little bit on the texture pack. Because this texture pack is quite old, as I do know, but we are on the actual updated new versions of Minecraft lately. Because, for some reason, Mart, if I am able to shed a little bit of light on this, um, as I, as I did say from some of my past um, videos, um, actually, I don't understand why. Like, I can understand it why. Oopsie. Let me, uh... Oh, okay, so these are all pictures, yep. Most of the things about these are actually all pictures, so just weird-looking blocks, but the majority of it will... Whoa. Yep, Molly, this is getting me... This is giving me some memories of uh, playing the game. Oh, dear. Right, let's hop up here. Oh, they're actually stairs, all right? So let's just run up here. Oh, okay, yep. This place is quite huge. Oh, really? 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 They should have told me I needed a minecart. Oh, well. Guess we'll just run there. Anyway, so as we can all see, it it's, um, it is practically the same as, um, it's just a little bit different. Like, we can all practically see a mice. Like, these are power rails and minecart tracks. Those are the minecarts. That's a squid, even though it has only one eye. <laughs> um, um, let's see. What else? What else? We, this is a torch. These are woods. This is trees. This is, is snow from the frosty look. So, a couple of things are different. Whoa, no way. There's a gigantic statue. I forgot the name of the characters. Just been so long. I really forgotten everything because I played the games when I was like five, maybe six years old. I really cannot remember much. I'm really sorry. But, um, I want to just do the texture pack tour anyway because, well, obviously, um, I didn't want this texture pack to be left out. Alright, so we do have, um, a wooden, oh, oh dear, a wooden circle for him looks. Ooh, we got some, um, fangs. More fangs. We got, um, the stitches. Got a radio. Ooh, I do like that boombox radio. I do like it. Alright, anything else? We got this arrow we saw earlier. Wait, let's see. Any more small ones? Ooh, we got a little cute face. Let's see, we got another arrow. So the arrows can be pointed different directions. So there are all lots of paintings. They practically change everyone. Isn't this like, um, I forgot what this is called. Oh dear, um, this is something to do with Japanese culture, isn't it? Um, no, no, not Japanese, it's, um, it might be Japanese, I'm not sure, it's Chinese or Japanese, um, culture. I always get the two mixed up for some reason. Wait, oh, oh dear, alright, my, um, a little bit of ice parkour. Oh, well, it's not really parkour, to be honest, it's really not that big of a parkour. Whoa, look at the towns over there, my, this place might be quite big. Actually, um, real quick, let me get my map, let me get the map. Alright. Ooh, I do like the map. It looks kind of like a screen. It reminds me of um, the, uh, which one was that? It was the Halo texture pack we did, wasn't it? Um, it kind of reminds me of that one. It also reminds me of, um, what's the other one? I forgot. I think it's Mass Effect, but we haven't done that. But I did take a look, um, way back in the day when I, when it first came out. Because I, I was quite interested in it. Oh dear, alright, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Ouch! <laughs> Wait, Doc. Oh, right. So, my, so unfortunately, my name is, um, Doctor Strange 12 Dash. Right there, so, um, yeah, because I'm not, I'm playing on my account, but it's the, it's the quickest name I can think of at the time. I need to change it to Crash Master at one point, because, unfortunately, Crash Master is not an accessible name on this version for some reason. I really have no idea why, but at least I got my skin, and you know what? That's what counts, Mike. It's not really a label that matters. It just matters that you know who's playing the game at the end of the day. Also, I just noticed, that's actually Earth. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that, but that actually symbolizes Earth, that little um, planet right there. Alright, so we got some cactuses. So the majority of this... What is this? Is this normal sand or red sand? This is... Oh, this is actual sand. Oh, dear, my... So the, um, the sand might actually... The red sand might be even redder than this. Woof. Alright, we got some potatoes. That, why do potatoes look like waffles? <laughs> what? Why do potatoes look like waffles? That makes no sense. Alright, this is carrots, even though they look like orange beetroot. And we, um, the wheat looks like wheat. The seeds look like seeds, practically. Alright, so, um, a few things look a little bit different, but in the majority of it, Moist, you can practically tell what looks like what around here. Alright, so here's a village. I'm not seeing any villagers on the, on the other hand. Hello? Villagers? Where are you? 
Okay, this is really weird. This place looks pretty big, though, Moritz. I have to admit, this place is big. Oh, right. Let me just get back up. Let's see. So, I did see, a, like, uh, another, like, town. That's a village. This is more of a town over here. Unless they're both connected. All right, let's see. We've got another minecart station over here. Oh, there we go. No, Moritz, let's actually keep a few. Let's actually keep, um, let's just take the whole chest, I suppose. Let's just take the whole chest. All right, let's get a good look around this whole entire place. Whoa, all right. Yeah, see, Moritz, look, this is a good way to look. So it looks like a lot of these buildings are empty anyway. But we are getting a quite a good look. It looks like um Chinatown in a sense. It looks like Asia, China, um, some other cultures of that, some of the sort. All right. Honestly, I have never been to any of those countries. Well, I have been to a few of the countries in the past, but um, I haven't been to any recently. I would like to go to um, Asia. I, I was only on the south of Asia for one time, but it was it was like so quick, like really, right? Oh, I do like the what color what color beds are these? Are these just red beds? Wow, my <laughs> boys, what's the point of having other color beds if it's, it's already a rainbow? <laughs> it really makes no sense unless it's to change the color of the pillow. Actually, you know what? Let's grab a bed. Let's actually grab a bed. Just in, in, okay, I can't grab one right there. Nothing in the chest. Ooh, that's the ender chest. With a uh, quick look at the eye of ender right there, which actually does legitimately, um, legitimately look like an eye of ender. Are these lily pads? Really? They look more like rose petals, honestly. Like um, a weird multicolored red rose petal or a dead frog. Ugh. Let's actually get out of here. I don't want to look at that anymore. All right, so we're going actually into some more structures right now. Here we go. Oh dear, oh, why does everything need to be around parkour and whatnot? Seriously, Mites, I don't understand why does <laughs> everything have to be involved around parkour. Ooh, we got a, we got a diamond, apples, and we got a golden axe. All right, so we can defend ourselves. How does this look like an axe? Really, really, Mites, how does this look like an axe? It looks like, um, looks like some sort of wand or maybe even a mace. I'm not exactly sure how this looks like one, but eh. Whatever, it's not- I'm not the one to judge. It's the- it's the texture pack after all. It is- it is quite quick, it is quite quick. A lot of the golden tools do have low durability, but one thing we always can never forget, they are actually quite quick as a tool. Alright, so let's see, anything around the area? Let me just go up, there we go, come on. Faster! Come on, please, faster, let's go faster. Yay! Oh, no. What- why is it not activating? Oh, oh my, this must be only like one direction, it must be only um, a one directional thing. You know what? Ouch. Okay, you know what? I think it's but I think it's faster if I just run. I think it's faster if I just walk and run around. Um, run around. Let's see. So yeah, that seems to be um the whole entire thing. It doesn't seem to be for purpose. It seems to just be. I think the whole texture pack in general might. I might only do like one episode of this. But leave me a comment just to know if you guys have ever played um the world itself as it is, or if it's um interesting to all of you. Right, so let's see. Let's go around. Let's go all the way to that village. Actually, let me quickly... Oopsie. Um, wait. Try to, sorry, Mike. Trying to get used to the buttons on PS4. I, I don't play on PS4 that much, honestly. There we go. So let's see. So myself, I want to be able to fly all the way over there. So that way we do not need to quickly walk around. Oh, look at the sun. That's actually quite good. I do love the sun. I love the sun. Let me see. Is the moon coming out? Ooh, Mike. That looks like a proper moon that you can actually see from like real life Earth. That looks like, um, you can see all the craters and everything, whatnot. I think that's a little bit too... Actually, no, it's not too many craters. It's actually really accurate. If we go back with, um, Earth over here. But let's take a look and let's see. Anything in down here? Um, we're already down there. That's, like, the minecart station right there. But what's over here? I saw something. Seems like, um, a giant structure. It's... What is this? A castle of some sort? We got multiple villages. Whoa, okay. Some of this must have been, um... I bet this was, um, one of these were randomly generated, and then the other ones were probably, um, built around the area. What is this? Oh, it's a castle. It is a castle. All right. So, let's take a look around it. Yep. This see. Oh, my. So, practically, you don't even need this texture pack if you... Or if you like Minecraft and you want nostalgia. Yeah, see, look. Here we have some of the town houses and whatnot. <laughs> we got a little robotic face right there, too. All right, let me get that. So, most of these are actually built just like in the actual game, I'm pretty sure. Just because of the way the level design and whatnot. Ooh, here we have the treasure. We have a um, music disc, which is, sure, my favorite one. <laughs> but, um, this will, this actually looks like a, an actual record player, Mites. It actually does, like, um, from a 2D standpoint. More 2D than actually holding in your hand from, um, original Minecraft. It actually does look like a proper, like, record disc from the, from this direction. It's not, like, just, like, um... 
like two thirds towards the screen like in regular Minecraft texture pack it actually is more or less um, an actual music disc all right let's see so we have just a giant jungle over here but I did see something over here didn't I yep whoa all right this looks pretty scary this looks randomly scary yep this is actually near the big earth this is actually where I want to go before so let's see so a lot of these blocks do like whoa okay so some of these blocks do have um Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but a lot of these blocks do have, um, okay, Sticky Piston. This reminds me of the Mario Sticky Piston, like the Mario Texture Pack one. Um, what, what is this? Is this lava? Or, nope, it's a Jack-O-Lantern. Alright, I can see the, I can kind of see the, the pumpkin texture pack. A lot of these blocks, though, my, they do take quite a while to make, as you can see. It's not just subtle changes, just like, um, as I said before, how nothing looks all around, like, different. As you can see, the minecarts even have, like, different designs and subtleties inside of it. Like, the rails are a little bit different. We have, um, other blocks right here, like, um, you have to actually, like, my, they actually have to hand-draw this pixel by pixel and fragment by block by block. They have to draw all of this sorts. It is really quite fascinating and time consuming just to know how much it takes just to make all of this. Oh, yep, yep, I knew it, my sis is made of nether bricks and whatnot. I knew it had to be something from the nether <laughs> just to make it look a little more like dark and evil ish. But as you can see, um, this is all like nether rack, nether food, and whatnot. Oh, thank you, Minecraft. My hunger is getting a little bit low and one of my hearts were just about to go away. Right, so not much that we could do inside the structure. It seems to be just full of um, smoke and jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, my, well, there he is. There's the main character himself right there. Giant statue dedicated to himself. And here we have one of his friends right there. One of his beautiful friends right there. So let's go. Let's go over here on this island. And let's see what's around here. We can actually get a look at some of the mobs. We got a normal zombie right there. Looks um, zombie-ish. Got a skeleton. Let me just get hit on um, a couple times. <laughs> it looks absolutely ridiculous. So oh, dear. All right. So here we go. We got another. Oh, is this red sandstone? It's just sandstone. Um, no, but might. I think this is actually just sandstone or red one. Um, whichever one it is. Oh dear. This place. Um, this place looks really crazy. I do recognize some instructions, and if I do, I really don't remember the names. But other than that, oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Let's actually press on a few of these. Alright, ooh, I like the creeper one. It's blue, of, of course. And we got some relic um we got some yellow sparks. See, um another music disc, we got wait, a purple one. Ooh, mites, wait, wait, wait. Actually, <laughs> if you actually put them side by side, it looks like two eyes staring at you at you um through your inventory. That looks quite clever. Right, we got a few buildings over here. Nice door, like it. Wait, is this iron? Yep, mites, this is an iron door apparently, even though it looks like yellow wood. Really weird and awkward. Right, let's see. So, anything in here? We got something pointing down, but uh, how do we get down here? Unless there's a ladder somewhere. Right, wait. Let's just get out of the house and let's keep exploring. So, normal town. Not much to do. A lot of this is probably just built around the actual stage might. So, no offense. I quite grew tired of Big Little World. Um, actually, I haven't played it in ages. But um, for any young kids, I suppose it will be decently good. I guess I'm not exactly sure. I've like really any interest in it whatsoever. Like if I see the game, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember I played that at one point in my life, <laughs> and then I skip them. Like, oh wait, there's Terraria. <laughs> oh dear. Oh oh wait, there's Dragon Ball. Oh, oh wait, you know you know what games I play. Oh wait, there's Mario. All right, so the texture pack tour will be. Pr I think we should just end it right here, mates, because I honestly have no idea. You're probably all thinking like, does he even really know what any of this is? Honestly. Yes, and no, I remember most of the stuff, but most of this I've not played any of the games recently. So, yeah, my, it looks like that's gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Most, it's not my best texture pack tool, but I promise you I will have a better looking texture pack tool that I can actually relate with. So, yeah, my, right, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Later, guys!